everybody. Welcome back to Downtime Activities, and welcome back to our Epic Six D&D campaign for uh, Episode 3. Mm -hmm. um, in our last episode, uh, our two characters, uh, Asim the uh, Kenra and uh, Tercius the Elf, uh, barely survived a couple of fights with some brigands. I did fine. Um, <laughs> You, yeah. <laughs> Only one of us got hit for more than half of their hit points and one dagger. Untouched. Yeah, untouched. Just, mm -hmm. just, just, you came out of you it just, that just guy pretty. With <laughs> um, Good times. <laughs> uh, and uh, maybe had some visions? Some vis at the very least, uh, um, while tripping balls and praying, um, saw some people they didn't know, saw some places that they weren't familiar with. Um... And uh, uh, just, you know, got a little bit more equipment and uh, some of that, which is always nice. It's not uh, a tabaxi hide. It's definitely... That that merchant assured you, that armor is definitely not made out of a tabaxi. I have it in my equipment as not tabaxi hide. That's good. It's not. It's important. Hey, just in case anyone asks, you can let them know. We also totally not didn't rob those dead guys. Of the only lively, <laughs> the only worldly possessions they have. A sword... And a, a short, a, a dagger, and a longer dagger. <laughs> yeah. uh, to once again quote a much more successful D and D campaign, I killed them first, so it's not stealing; it's looting. True. Here, here. <laughs> I uh, almost grabbed your beer and cheers. To that. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, just don't give it back. Never cheers. Never cheers with another man beers. <laughs> another never cheers with another man beers. <laughs> Words to live by. Uh, I can. I could write them down in the uh, general guidelines. Of I life. think that I think that should be the general guidelines of. Life. Well, you guys Never figure out uh, the the um, the known world is your oyster, except for the fact that the empire owns most of it. Um, it's their oyster. We're just in it. Uh, um, so uh, while well, you guys figure out what you're doing, I suppose I'll add that to the general guidelines of life. Been a long time since we've added it. I can that. very half-heartedly explain what I saw on mine and ask your opinion. So, I saw this thing in the middle of a desert. There were mountains in the background when I was staring at it, and nothing but desert behind me. Mm. Just with a generic map, do you have any idea what that could be? That's why you were praying to the gods? No, that's just what I saw. What were you doing when you saw that? Praying to the, to the gods. Yes, but that's not why I was praying <laughs> to the gods. That doesn't normally happen. Well, what were you praying to the gods for? Uh, guidance. And, uh, so you prayed to the gods for guidance, and they showed you this place. I, I Sounds would, to me like the gods are guiding me. I would say yeah, but the problem is, showing me a destination without how to get to that destination isn't necessarily guidance, because I don't know what that destination is. Well, you know what they say. If you're looking to get guidance from Poseidon, simply get lost at sea, and he will guide you to where he wants you. You're saying I just need to wander the desert until I find this thing? Not necessarily, but wandering... It, Try and uh, think hard about those mountains and look at maps. See if we can find mountains that look like them. Get lost near it and let the gods guide you to this this place. Clearly it's where they want you. It's terrifying. Looks uh, like a whole lot of empty, but alright. That's deserts. I think. I think that's sea, too. It feels less empty to me for some reason. The ocean is a desert with its life underground. That's kind of creepy. Spoke the prophet America. <laughs> yeah. Being the band America. <laughs> Not the country. Not the country. <laughs> Different America. No prophets there. <laughs> well, prophets as in money. <laughs> Lots prophets of prophets there. People, uh, and it all uh, got tainted. Mm. All right, moving on. <laughs> Into a fantasy world that whose government also sucks, but you can do something about it if you feel like it. <laughs> and kill Eventually. people would be fine. <laughs> throw back. Uh, more like throw up. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I don't think that you should just start wandering off into the desert and get lost, but the gods are trying to guide you this place, and it is ill-advised to ignore the gods. I have no idea where to start, so the only, I, only thing I can think of is maybe talking to a priest, or... Going somewhere and then starting from there. But I wonder if my vision was from the gods. I need to find an old man. Not a specific old man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's one over there. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, mine's probably not from the gods. Yours sounds like it was from the gods, though. And I don't know if your gods are like my gods, but you do not ignore the gods. <laughs> I tend to try not to. <laughs> the gods exact, like, show you something, you should probably listen to that. Otherwise, it'll probably turn into an animal. And I think the gods God show only you things Gods every only day. know. I think the gods show you something every day. It's whether or not you choose to follow it or do your own thing. If you're so certain that you should work very hard to fall, to not ignore what the gods show you, does that change your opinion of uh, the vision you had, Dripping Balls? I don't know if that was from the gods or from the hookah. Can you risk it? Well, if I see that old guy, I'll definitely engage him in a conversation. Well, other than that, that. <laughs> if I see that old guy, you say, looking around. <laughs> Eight. Eight? No old guy. I mean, <laughs> old people. Some old people, but most That's of them me. are Kenra. And uh... If you see an old guy, kind of scarred up, leathers, blade. Like that guy? Blade. Yeah, uh, like that guy. Was that <laughs> or like that guy. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, same one. You, yeah, you, you're like, you go like that guy, and you point, you turn around, and see... An old man in a sleeveless tunic with a um, with a legionary tattoo on one arm, <laughs> kind of scarred up with a sword at his side, uh, leather armor, I love them. sort of sort of <laughs> cruising around shopping at the stall. He is half ass explains this that guy. Oh my god! Look, if, you see, look, if you happen to see an old guy, human, <laughs> scarred up in leathers, you mean like that guy? From where <laughs> we're here, I look roughly. North northwest at a slight upward angle towards Mount Olympus, of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, I'm listening. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to walk towards this old guy. <laughs> I don't look up because that's not where the gods are. Why would they be in the sky? There's nothing to do up there. I look to the mountain and then I, I move to this guy. <laughs> that's why. I why would they be up there? Head. There's nothing to do up there. <laughs> that's why I kneel my head or actually get to the ground is because downward. So you, yeah, so he, uh, he explained, he explains this of like, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, if you happen to see this guy and you go, sort of jokingly, you like that guy, he turns around, looks at him and just like, looks off into the distance and is like, <laughs> I'm it's like, I'm listening, and then just takes off running towards this old guy that you pointed out. I look around like, <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> and then I guess follow him. He'll say, "Hail there, sir!" Hail. He kind of, he, kinda, he, he he's like, he, he kind of looks you up and down, not as the like, "Oh, look at this guy," but the like, it's kind of the just like, "Oh, look, an elf in the, like Kinder Capital City." It's like this guy's a human, I assume. Mm-hmm. And it'd be like, "I'm Tertius. I'm uh, Avantius. Well, Avantius, this is going. This may sound strange to you, but I believe the gods want us to meet. That's." Does sound strange to me. I. Hmm. I don't know how to explain this, except for very honestly and very bluntly. I experienced today for the first time what smoking the hookah here is like. Mm. I had many a strange vision, but in one of them, I saw you. And not like someone who looks like kind of you. I saw exactly you. And I can't imagine that I could envision someone who exists without ever having seen them, unless the gods put that in my mind. Put that in my vision. I'll admit I'm doubtful. Not uh, much a man of the gods myself. Well, not myself either. Personally, don't trust the gods. But I know that if the gods say to do something, you ought to do it for your own good. And so if they want us to meet, it would be foolish of me not to meet you. Who, what, what do you do here? Who are you? These days, not much of anything. I was a legionary most of my life. Uh, fought in one war or another for the Empire. Just a retired old man now. I come rolling up about this time. Uh, ah, this is a seam, my friend. Nice to meet you. I'm yeah. Avantius. Nice to meet you. Uh, How long have you been retired from soldiering? Mm, five years or so. Done a little bit of traveling. Uh, been here for 
close to a year now. Um, oh, I'll be honest with you, lad. I'm not. Uh, the gods do want us to meet. I'm not sure what good I'm gonna be to you. I uh, can't do much of anything apart from teach you to swing a blade. You're not joking, right? Like I didn't just point at a random. No, man. this is exactly the man for my vision. Uh, I've. I'm always looking to learn. I, I have some schooling in the blade. I learned recently that real-life application is very different than training. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, point, he points to, like, a fairly long scar on his face, and he's like, yeah, most people learn that lesson right away. <laughs> and I'll kind of, like, pull the, the like, the, uh, like, uh, hide to the side mm-hmm. and kind of show the cut across my mm-hmm. abdomen. And I'm going to be like, not... Too deep, but certainly surprising. No, it seems Bruce. superficial, hardly mortal wounds. You're uh, definitely one of the lucky ones. For a lot of people, the first wound they take is their last. I'm happy to not be one of them. You said you've been you were soldiering for some time before those last five years. Mm. Does the name Isidoros mean anything to you? Can't say it does. Said uh, the uh, one of your people, I'd assume. But yes, that it would. My brother. Mm. He's been soldiering for some time. Sometime indeed. What legion are you with? The seventh, I believe. Mm. I think they're, uh. At least, last I heard something, they were, uh. out uh, fighting a war in Hara, weren't they? In Hara? Yes! Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. I've mm. not heard news of my brothers for some time now. Pretty standard. I. Was that where the seventh was? Heard that ended horribly. Well, successfully, but you well, know. ended. <laughs> ended is certainly a good word for it, from what I've heard. And I was with the second myself, so I don't know much about the seventh. I um, don't even really know who their general is at the moment. Hmm. If you're looking for news, I'm afraid I won't be able to tell you anything. What brought you here? Retirement? Yeah, just exploring. Saw some of the world as a legionary. Not. Uh, uh, lot of places I wouldn't necessarily care to revisit. Um, but got the occasional glimpse of places that seemed a bit more interesting. Um, heard a lot about this city. It's about the only thing uh, that Kenra will talk about all through this kingdom, and I figured I'd give it a look. And I'll admit I've been here a year, which is longer than any other place has held on to me. It's a beautiful city. Very... Big in all dimensions, you know? And very old. Very old. Well, for a, for a non-elven city, it's certainly old. Well, there's uh, lots of legends that the uh, Kenra have some old secrets, far older even than the elves. Wouldn't know anything about that myself. Like I said, I'm not much a man for the gods. I can imagine a life of soldiering makes you a little sour to the gods, though... As I said, foolish to ignore them. Are you sure there's not some sort of divine thing you're working on right now that gods would want me to help you with? Unless you're looking to hire a retired soldier, or you're looking to learn some of the art of soldiering, I'm afraid there's not much I can do for you. Well, I mean, I haven't much money, but I'd learn anything you're willing to teach. Seem fit? I mean, it sounds like you've uh, been in a fight or two. Recently, more real than ever before. I, as I, said, I have some training with the blade. Uh, part of growing up where I did, it was just the way of things. Uh, but I think a soldier might do better than a tutor for learning uh, how to handle yourself in a real fight. I can't say I disagree with that. How about you, Kenra? I'm, at this point, going wherever the gods point me. Yeah, oh, great, there's two of them. <laughs> His gods want him to wander into the desert, I think, but we're not quite sure on that one yet. <clears throat> well, if they My advice, if they're giving you visions of gold, chase that down, and leave it there. Don't ever become a soldier, don't become a politician. You take all that gold that the gods are showing you, and you sail up and down the river on a pleasure barge. Sounds relaxing. Fate might say otherwise. Fate is a cruel mistress, is she not? And the whole nation of philosophers. 
<laughs> you're, you're a strange pair. Like I said, I can teach you to fight, but... And if they did show you visions of gold, count me in. But <laughs> I'd say I'm involved in anything divine. I, I can explain to him my vision was basically seeing a crypt in the middle of the desert with mountains behind it and nothing but vast desert as far as the eye yeah. could see. Vast desert could be plenty of places. Uh, yeah, that's the issue. Crypts could have gold in them, but you probably shouldn't take it. I feel like that would anger your gods. Right on the edge of the mountains... I feel like that could be a lot of places. There weren't... So it was just a desert and mountains. As far as I can tell. No Wasn't, no cities, no nothing cities. nearby. Mm-hmm. But there's no lowlands or um, hill country around the mountains at all. It's just straight desert to mountains. That limits it. Any ideas? Because I am lost. <laughs> hmm. Maybe a couple. Can't say I've... We patrolled... Uh, um, fighting the lions some 20 or 30 years ago now when I was here. Actually, thinking about it, <clears throat> you said there were Egyptian markings all over it, right? All around the tomb, yeah. Assuming that this isn't ne- technically nearby to just Egypt, I would point out, yeah, it would, pro- it would if anyone were to find it, which I doubt they did, because it looked untouched for a long time, and there were Egyptian markings on it, and assuming it's not nearby, because we're not near any mountain ranges, have you heard of anyone speak tales of that? No tales, but um, near the border with the Lions Territory, when we were deployed here when I was a younger man, we patrolled along the base of a mountain range that's like you say. Uh, no hill country, no uh, ridges or anything. It's desert. just straight desert. Right Into the mountains. mountains. Interesting. Could be the place you're looking for. And what where what area was that? I don't remember this. He'll he'll kind of he'll give you very vague directions, but kind of with the like, I could walk there, but telling you how to walk there is kind of hard. Right. Well, I think uh, if you're willing to help him in his quest for the divine, and by extent, you and I are talking, which apparently is mine. Whatever we find, maybe there's treasures to be found there. So long as we're not angering gods with whatever we take, we could split it three ways. Well, it's his gods, not ours. That's true. Well, you're... I don't don't think your gods can punish me. Can they? I think they can, but... Would they bother? I I don't... I don't believe mine cares, unless you're doing something to um, interrupt the natural process of death. Well then, whatever is there to take that... Your gods condone. We'll split three ways. Everything else, 50-50, you and me. Huh? This sounds like a great adventure. What if there's nothing there, though? Well, then we'll walk around the desert a little while. Hope we stumble upon it if we don't. I've never tried laying in wine. (laughs) I assume they have wine. Everyone has wine, right? I think everyone has wine. We're in an, an era where you can't afford to not have wine. Well, shit. If you can get some equipment together, I was suppose I wasn't doing anything anyway. Works for me. How is the matter of coin? How do we need to get there? Is this by boat? Is this by foot? We could walk there, but it's not necessarily a short walk. How long? Camels thinking... might be better. I could ride a camel. <laughs> <laughs> I. They're not as great as you think. <laughs> um, how long of a trip are we thinking there and back? On foot. A couple of weeks one way. Um, something like a camel. Maybe cut that time in half. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that camel in Morocco? <laughs> oh, the, uh, the one that bit my ass? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Just hard cut to them riding camels through the desert. I don't think we can afford camels at the moment. <laughs> I feel like camels will be more money than I got on me. Um, perhaps we do some work around here for some time. Gather up some coin to have enough to kind of 
bankroll an expedition, and then we go find this tomb. How much do we need? Well, if we're wanting camels for everybody, and camels are 50 gold apiece. Okay. Uh, also, if we're going off into the desert, uh, where there might be Bedouin bandits and the like, uh, I think that getting ourselves out a bit more might be prudent. Where are you staying? He'll give you the name of an inn. Okay. And rough directions. It'll take us a little bit of time to get the money together, but right now the plan is to follow through. We don't know how long this will take. I'm, I'm not, sure we can find some more ground time. I'm not doing anything. One adventure is as good as another, I suppose. So we need to get, um, like, 150 gold? We could try and talk to the cat man and see if he's got any more work for us. Or uh, if he knows anybody. Or if he knows someone who needs just a couple extra hands. Let's get day jobs! <laughs> <laughs> Montage time. <laughs> um, it's only been like a couple days since we left him too. Uh, let's go find the cat man. This is, I believe, like the day after. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a busy day. Yeah, I guess we'll go back to... I don't know, maybe you were out uh, on your vision quest a lot longer than you thought. That is true. I can also, I mean, I'd be happy to go around and just like small talk with people and local dins and bars and the like and just see if there's work about. Yeah, also ask about people that might have easier ways of getting about whether... I'm assuming horses wouldn't be a good option because we're going through sand. It depends on the horse. It's a desert horse. Horses might be faster, but we might not be able to take as much. If you're looking for... Well, if you're not picky about the work that you're doing... I know of some fellows who, um... And if, or I suppose if you're, um... Looking to get some of your equipment a little bit quicker... There's some, um, I know of some fellas, generally like him, uh, like picking things up from the Imperial Legions when they get a chance. You have no problem with that? I spent a lot of years fighting for an empire that, uh, gave me a pittance for back pay and, uh, no land when the wars were over. I'm not dead set on seeing the Empire burn, but I've not really got any love for it. Sounds to me like you are owed one by then. It's not stealing if, you're, if, they, if you have a uh, debt to settle. That's one way of looking at it. I've got no, a debt to settle myself, I think. It's, uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> now... Especially if you two haven't done all that much fighting, we should probably try and avoid being seen as much as possible. But, um, should be possible with the stuff that my friends target to get horses, some other equipment. But, uh, we've got to move fast and we've got to stay quiet doing that. I can do that, I think. Yeah, I can do that. All right. But then I told you about me, me there tonight. Perfect. Right around when the time the sun goes down. Absolutely. This is why the gods told me. <laughs> it's all making sense. <laughs> I'm still lost, but I'm glad we're moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> the Literally the exact two types of D&D player. <laughs> the gods have guided me to this man. I'm still lost, but woo! <laughs> yeah. But I'm in two! And what's funny is, our character dynamic is supposed to be the opposite. <laughs> like, usually, I'm you should be the more like, the gods are guiding me, and I'm gonna be the like, I'm here too! Alright! Fun times! The, god, the gods are guiding you, but it's, it's, the gods, the gods have given you step B, yeah. You're not entirely sure what to do with step A. The gods gave you step A, and that's it. Well, no, the gods gave me step B. He gave me step A. Yeah. I don't know the rest of it. The gods gave him step 
L, <laughs> and he's got nothing else. <laughs> We're so piecing I, up the letters on the way. They show me your gods death. work in different and mysterious <laughs> ways. I'm, I'm just happy they didn't turn into an animal and like you know fuck my wife or something <laughs> because that's very Greek god. You have a wife? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, but then the son would be a demigod. But it wouldn't be my son. <laughs> It'd be my wife's son. You're right, he'd probably end up killing you. Yeah, but the story is told me he'd kill me and be sad about it later. Or you'd end up having to kill someone. Or like... Well, no, you would kill someone trying to kill him. He would eventually kill you. He would be sent on a whole bunch of bizarre quests all Probably, his like, one of the gods would, like, turn into an animal and sleep with me. <laughs> and then, like, crack their head open with a rock and my son would fall out a fully formed man. And then he would kill me and be really sad about it. And then, like, I don't know, go slay a big monster somewhere and wear part of it. I don't know. Greek mythology is weird, man. Or, it, or they'd turn into an animal, bang your wife. Then your son would be a half-animal man. And they'd lock him in a they'd lock him in a big tomb somewhere and just feed him virgins for every year <laughs> until some dude showed up and killed him with a ball of yarn and a knife. Yeah, That's, that did happen. <laughs> yarn time. Knife. Meanwhile, on your side of things, we're getting to the description of the seventh of the different <laughs> fire breathing snakes. <laughs> this one also this. a chill dude, though. Yes, this one also He's not, not that mean chained up one. Yes, this one also not the like destroyer of worlds one. Uh, Jorman Gander? Is that what you're talking about? No, I, no, there, there's, uh, again, there's like, at least, there's like, there's like, in some interpretations, there's like seven gates of the underworld, and in some there's twelve. Oh, right. In the twelve one in particular. Just gets me wild, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, <laughs> alright. Break. <laughs> Culture, uh, theological discussions aside, uh, let's, uh, yeah. Alright, I, I feel like uh, I'm ready to roll. Uh, yeah, okay. Is there anything else we need to do? We don't need to grab anything. I don't think so. Alright. Okay. So you're heading to that. That's why we're doing this job. Fast you're, forward. You're heading to that inn that mm-hmm. night. It's not it's not a seedy throat cutty inn, but it's not like necessarily a nice place. Um, and Aventius is just actually, he's just like leaning against the front wall um, as you guys kind of come down the street. Uh, Same garb? Shady mm-hmm. garb? Same garb. Okay. He, he's wearing. He's kind of wearing a cloak now to keep off the like, the sort of chill of the night. Hmm. Um, but apart from that, it's still just the like. The I probably have my like shawl thing over the top now. I should have taken that dead guy's cloak. Did he have a cloak? No, it was like, what hooded stuff, right? No, neither of them were hooded. Oh, okay. Um, they were wearing what I wear before I got this. Not to back. Definitely not to vaccine. <laughs> yeah. uh, just worse. Uh, Horror. Uh, it's, it's, everybody wears. Two nicks and sandals. That's that's the whole world <laughs> at this point. In this Except for those weirdos up north wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Savages. Yeah. It, it's, How do they it, let their bollocks breathe? Yeah, so it's, it, it's even less civilized than the than if you go far enough north and then they just fight naked. At least their bollocks can breathe up there. Um, Gotta put make air holes in the pants. <laughs> It's the whole purpose. It's like mesh <laughs> netting pants. <laughs> fish net. These are fish, fish net stockings. <laughs> but just you show them all fight. the way up to the waistline. No, no, no. not doing it. I'm going to choose not to fight. I was going to a whole army because you know they had to coordinate that. <laughs> That's a weird army. That's I don't why, like it. It's why the Romans it, tripled to be here. It seems like it's even harder to make those than it would just be to make pants. <laughs> and, they're still, and they're still painted blue. They're still painted blue. And they're still painted blue on drugs, but they're only <laughs> wearing fishnet stockings. Yes. They had to make pants and then ruin those <laughs> pants. <laughs> anyway. I love playing D&D with my friends. <laughs> this is what literally always happens. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Um, he, just, he just kind of motions for you two to follow him uh, and starts heading out of the, out of the city. You we'll ever follow. notice how much we just kind of trust people we run into? Really oh, I'm very weird. trusting. I'm trustworthy. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This will never backfire. <laughs> You're the one person who's not going to take advantage of my naivety. I can't. You got nothing I want. <laughs> I totally would, though. If you had anything I could steal, I totally would. I got plenty to steal. I got a nice dagger. Unfortunately, I know what you have. <laughs> because we got the same thing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not worth 
uh, betraying at the moment. Also, I can't think of it. At least I got that going for me. He kind of, as, as you're as you're walking, especially like kind of out of, like headed for kind of the edge of the city, and it's on it's on the desert side, so I suppose the like east side of the city. It's kind of the direction he's heading. He's just kind of explaining that like, um, Imperial Legions haven't had a war to fight around here in quite some time. Um, most of the unrest that they have to deal with, at least in any uh, really just regularly is farther up north towards the uh, provincial capital. Uh, anybody around here who doesn't like the Empire tends to remain a little better hidden. Um, and as such, a lot of the legions have gotten lazy, especially the quartermasters. Some of their supply depots uh, have turned into pretty easy targets. Um, so there's a small group of local Kenra, mostly teenagers, essentially, um, who uh, like to fancy themselves rebels and like to lift uh, things um, from the Imperials as much as possible. For the most part, they're, if they're stealing rations, they're giving it out to locals, uh, or if they're stealing horses or equipment, they're selling them and giving the money to one temple or another. Um, they're stockpiling some equipment in hopes of a revolution, but there's less. There's, you know, there's a half dozen of them, and they're um, younger than any of you, so good enough uh, and less experienced. <clears throat> um, Possible leaders of the future. He he kind of he kind of stops and like stops both of you as like farther down the street. A couple of Imperial Legionaries just kind of patrol past. They're not like. They're not really paying attention to much of anything. They just kind of, they're just kind of chatting and they just kind of walk past. And he just like watches them both go and then like gives it a couple seconds and then like keeps going. Um, uh, and he's like, he's not, he's not sticking just to like alleyways, but he's like, definitely seems to be avoiding some of the larger streets headed, uh, but he's just like kind of heading straight east. Okay. Um, so shouldn't be shouldn't be that hard of uh, an operation if you want to call it that I lend I lend a hand when I uh, when I can it's good for them to have somebody who knows how to swing the blade around it's um, should be easy in easy out don't take more than you can carry don't go too far don't uh, take more than you need uh, the more they know this is missing uh, more trouble, of course, in the future, but it should be easy enough if we're quiet to get a couple horses out of the pens and uh, lift some traveling supplies. <clears throat> All right. What are these? What is this group using? Are they sneaking by? Are they assassinating? Sneaking by? Uh, you kill a guard, that's going to. Uh, right, suspicion. Mm -hmm. It'll make things worse in the future. Guard backs you into a corner. Do what you have to do. Yeah, but understandable. Avoid it if you can. <clears throat> Besides, they're all just uh, soldiers like me. Only ones with killing our officers, and you're not going to get a shot at one of them. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> so looking Hopefully around. no one will have to die today. We'll keep it quiet. <laughs> looking around. Where are we supposed to meet these guys? He's, uh, so he takes you kind of like out to the edge of the, like to the edge of the city, and then sort of starting at, uh, starting out into the kind of farms and desert around the main city, um, and kind of just like like following, just kind of like following a little meandering road for a while, um, and then eventually he kind of jump he he jumps a little uh, low stone wall, um, past a like really morose cow. It's just like, this just stand, and it makes no noise as the three of you just like cross literally through its pen, over another little stone wall, and like up to a little, um, just a little sort of low stone building. Just, you ever think that some things just need to die? Looking at that cow. I think he's got a certain peacefulness about him that I, I have some envy for, you know? I think about the cows, it gets used as an excuse, because... 
for some reason, as soon as the sun comes down, that cow, nothing. There could be there could be jackals in the pen. The cow wouldn't do a damn thing. All goddamn day, anybody walks past, and that cow tries to kill him. Just, it's knocked over the fence more than once. It's just, it's an excellent excuse because we pass through here. Landowner gets to tell everybody. Well, obviously nobody came through here. They never heard a peep out of the cow all night. The damnedest thing. Of course, all the neighbors know about it. So, as far as an excuse goes, shaky. I'm probably gonna walk past. But if you're gonna, what yeah, the fuck is but, wrong but with you're that gonna cow? do, but you're gonna do this kind of business in the future. Excuses like that. Hmm. Good to have me back, pocket. Just walking past. I wonder what the fuck is wrong with that cow. Yeah, I do. I've been thinking the same thing. The whole year I've been here, that I've been working with these guys, no idea what's up with the cow. That's really creepy. I, that's me. That the cow maybe had a dealing with Apollo in the past, and the son angers him. You mean Ra? Potentially? I guess this is probably a local cow. <laughs> yes, it is definitely local. The cows have to fall. We don't need to worry about. It. I just, I, 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 I don't want to know. Like, part of me wants to know, but I think personally, I think the farmer drugs it every night. But seems like a lot of it. Seems expensive, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy, but but that still doesn't explain. Most cows don't just straight attack people. Oh yeah, that, no, that, that, that cows get serious problems. Huh. All right. Welcome to the club. But Enjoy. like I said, it's a nice excuse. Mm -hmm. As far as that, uh, as far as anyone within earshot of that cow is concerned, nobody passed through here. What that also means is we need to be done and through before morning. Yes. Uh, more than once, some of these boys have ended up uh, spending the whole day uh, here in the here in this farmer's shack, just waiting for the sun to go back down. Good to know. Don't go across the field. Ross, the stay asleep. Um, he he got he just he he just like kind of knocks at a door. Um, probably found this also in buildings. Immediately opened. Um, uh, and you, the three of you, are uh, let inside. They the there are slowly four or five. Um, Ken are here. They all seem like sort of teenagers. <laughs> like they seem young. Um, and they seem at first sort of. Um, wary of you two. Um, but they should be. But Avantius is like... Like... Don't worry, they're with me. They're, uh... Looking to put together a little expedition into the desert. They need some gear, and they need it quick. And they don't really care where it comes from. Uh, and I figure, uh... If you're, you're trying to... Put a hurting on the Empire. A couple more hands. A few more missing horses just uh, more work done in a short time. As far as a list of stuff that we need, we need three horses, maybe some rations, anything else? Okay. Don't think so. Then I... Knock on water. Wood. Yeah. Water, food, seems, horses. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay. Maybe some camping gear. They, um... Uh... After all, everybody's like sort of converses for a moment, and like, it's it's kind of this like, 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 <laughs> for nativa, like kind of like thing. It's just like it's like these punk ass kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, to be young, <laughs> um, they sort of lead the way out. It's sort of the back door of this building. It seems to be the only other way out, and it seems to lead almost directly into a like dry irrigation ditch that runs between a couple of stone walls um, and it seems to run sort of straight along the edge of one of these fields for a short distance. Right. Um, and, and like they all sort of bunch up at the end of that, sort of standing low. Um, and beyond it, uh, if you sort of pop your head up and look a little bit, you can see um, Wooden Palisade um, or sections of a wooden palisade. It's kind of it's it's not a complete wooden palisade. It's sort of it's sort of walled off in sections. Um, 
couple of short wooden watchtowers, uh, some wooden like anti cavalry spikes. Um, that it, none of which seems to have been like it's not rotting because it's just way too dry around here. <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily seem like it was like put together recently. Yeah. Um, and it seems to be a rather large imperial encampment. And you seem to be on the side that's mostly um, stables, horse pens, um, and sort of like low stone or, stone or wood warehouses. All right. Interesting. Is so it's just abandoned? No, no. There there are guards patrolling. <laughs> it's just, just old and not used because yeah. they already won this war. They won this war like two of your lifetimes ago. Good times. Yeah. Not a whole lot of need for cavalry spikes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, Until guess. we get the horses. Then they'll <laughs> use... Then hopefully they won't. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll have a reason to. Um, quietly. Yeah. So um, the and there are, there are some soldiers patrolling. They're not patrolling in, like, huge numbers, but they tend to be patrolling, patrolling small groups. Um, but they also, they're also pretty well delineated by either... Um, torches or royal lanterns, okay. where they are patrolling. Um, I forgot we're quick too. A little quicker, uh, slightly quicker. And I've got um, dark vision. I do not, because that's a thing that early <laughs> didn't get. <laughs> um, Wizards. <laughs> um, not even a little salty about it either. No, nope, he's. He's totally come to terms with it. He's totally fine. It's like so fitting for them to, you know, never mind. I could rant. Um, Avengers kind of like to you two kind of points. It's like you see the horse pens there. There'll be saddles and tack nearby. Um, if you're in the stables or in the horse pens amidst the horses, it should be pretty well hidden, um, unless a cavalry patrol comes in or out. Which you should hear coming a ways out. Um, so we'll need three horses, and you can get them into this ditch farther down the road, 100 yards maybe. Um, good place to hide them as any. And at the far end of the ditch, another mile or two, easy enough to just spring out into the desert. Um, that first building there should be. Uh, food and travel supplies like that. If you're looking for any weapons or armor, that's a bigger locked building farther in. It's a lot harder to hit. I don't particularly feel like we need to go for that, as far as I'm aware. Um, is that section of the desert the area, that, the way we're heading? So would we need to go around, or would we be heading out that we'll section? We'll have to go desert? around a little bit, but it's as good a way to get out of the city as any. Seems straightforward. So, is it just us three? <clears throat> are you guys going to be watching from back here, or are you doing your own thing? They'll be, well, probably taking anything they can get a hold of. Okay. I hey. can, uh... I don't know, do you want to do both things together? Or do you want to, like, you gather supplies while I get the tack on the horses? Uh, do you think this is going to... They're going to be sneakier than I am. Uh, yeah, probably a little sneakier, but <clears throat> are you better with handling uh, animals? Uh, I think we're going to be <laughs> the same. Roughly equivalent at that. What about? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Um, so the sneakiest is we're going to. I mean, be if we're supplies. trying to steal a wagon, I should be the guy behind <laughs> the wheel of the wagon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but if it's just a horse. All right, yeah, if you want to go for the horses, I'll go for the supplies. Oh, there's a chariot. <laughs> you know us Greeks in our chariots. Wait, do you um, have the gladiator background? I don't. Okay. I do not. But I do have proficiency in both land and water vehicles. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, cars, jet skis. <laughs> it's too bad they won't be invented for another 2,000 years. Blimps. That's an air vehicle. Don't have air vehicle. Right yeah, don't have air vehicle motorcycles yet. If we can find me a motorcycle, <laughs> I can drive it. Baby. Um, Artificer somewhere. 
Let's do it. Let's, uh, I... So I got supplies, you got horses? Sure. Okay. Explain okay. that. They're close by still anyways uh, to each other, so... Is he moving with us? Mm-hmm. Uh, if he wants to... I don't know. Maybe help better. you? Mm-hmm. Grab more supplies. Just, I feel like it's pretty easy for me to get, like, three horses... Get tack for three horses, but like all the supplies we're gonna need and loading them onto the horses, it might be so. Is the plan for me to meet up with you with a horse? horse? I'll bring the horses to you guys, and you guys can like gather supplies and get them like ready to quickly load onto the horses. But didn't he say that the horse shed, whatever, was a little more secluded? Once, yeah, once you're like inside, you can hide within the horses, which is why I feel like I should do the horses because it might be easier to hide there. Mm -hmm. Because you right. seem sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see if that backfires, but let's do it. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So I won't try and sneak up to the place where the horse tack is. Give me uh, stealth checks. Oh, it's still my bill. Not bad. <laughs> Five. Five. Eighteen. Yeah. Five and eighteen. Um, I was right. You are better at this <laughs> than me. Uh... You, um, I suppose I should roll for, uh, Aventus. The four looks weird. Um, that's a four? Yeah, that's great. Like Good nine. enough. Um, so you, uh, um, the Kenra sort of, like, drift out of ones or twos, um, and sort of move pretty quick, at least, like, right across the road, and then once they're, like, in the shadows next to the camp, they sort of slow down and kind of, like, pick their way in. Um, you and Aventus like, dart across the road really quickly, and are, like, able to work your way really fairly easily, especially because, like, you can just see guards coming from the lamps, and they've ruined their own night vision by walking around with lamps. <laughs> um, this is a stupid idea. That, they're a- that, like, a couple of guards will pass by just, like, chatting, but you're able to, like, very easily time it to get, like, up to the outside wall of this first supply building. Um, you hop up out of, like, hop about, like, you see everybody else sort of, like, move out, and, like, they get up there, and you're, like, you're, like, same path, nice, no problem, you hop up out of the ditch, run across the road, sort of slide into cover by one of the sections of Wooden Palisade, and directly on the other side, you hear a guard do the kind of video game thing of just, like, huh? huh? What was that? Is he humming the Mission Impossible theme? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I go to two. the corner of the wall. <laughs> Round two. Uh, I just try and freeze. Okay. Um, give me, I guess at this point it's technically a hide check. Okay. Um, it is worth saying I do have the Mask of the Wild, so even if I'm only lightly obscured... In like you a natural setting, I yep. can still can, can try and hide. Uh, that one's better. It's a twelve. You are more than lightly obscured um, because it's in the dark, <laughs> uh, and you are on the other side of the wall for this person. Um, let's let's do this proper. Soldier stats. What's that perception? Soldier stats aren't going to be in here. <laughs> Which book? <laughs> well, soldier. Do you use like guard? Uh-oh. It's got the actual monster manual. Yeah, because this is where the step blocks you. Probably guard that you're using, I think. Yeah, there's, like, veteran be... stats, but... Let's God, get... I hope they don't all have those. No, there's <laughs> not. They are not... They do not all have veteran stats. Um... Oh, knight stat. Good enough. <laughs> That's essentially the veteran stat for full point. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> also, more damage, right? I think they um, use a claymore hmm. for the knight. Okay. And the veteran is like a longsword or something. Like that. Hmm. Um, that is a 12. Uh, Ties? I don't, I don't remember what. That was a 12. If it's a 12, then it's a reroll. Oh, God. That was like. Uh, I'm not going to do better. Uh, uh, eight. 21. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. You hear, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's the one garden here that takes himself seriously. Um, you hear again on the other side of the wall, like, um, it sounds like he's talking to somebody else, and he just says, like, like, I think there's somebody over here. And, like, you hear 
you hear somebody like sort of pick something up um, and footsteps sort of through this like gravel and sand headed towards the closest edge of that like wooden palisade. I want to try and uh, like look around to see if there's anything I can throw like a rock or sure. anything and I would like to like kind of try and skip it across the ground like bounce it like and just like chuck it in a direction to make it sound like somebody's moving that way and then try and quietly move the other direction. Uh, okay. Um I'll let you just roll it. I'm not going to I'm not going to make you roll to throw a rock. I throw a rock, uh, but there's just like rock, a, a stealth thing. Okay. It was the so dice good. are so mean. It was good to roll back. <laughs> it was like, do you want a crit? Too bad. It's a four. <laughs> like the perception check is much higher than that. Um, you like right as these two guards cover the corner. <laughs> you just like into their you, you fire a warding shot across the bow. Is what you do. Well, like, yeah, we like, need to get ready. Are, like the two of them like walk around the corner and like the rock comes sailing right. <laughs> past both of them and one of them just like turns and looks at you like they both turn and look at you and one of them's just like hey and like points and like he yells hey quite loudly uh and they both start like moving towards him. do do i hear this or? you hear a guard somewhere in the somewhere back towards sort of where you got into the camp yell hey <sighs> shit we are now on time constraint <laughs> well i mean you guys can do all of it. Well, I go, I go, <laughs> and I run. <laughs> okay. Um, they will run after you. Uh, they will stand no chance of catching you. Uh, <laughs> I will be you dashing can, every you round. You can easily lead them on a quite merry chase. Um, <laughs> lead them into the cow pen. One of them, one oh. of them yells, like, as they're starting to chase you, one of them yells back sort of into the camp, like there's someone sneaking out or sneaking it around out here. Um... Good. So I've uh, just put them on high alert and then left you to do all the hard work. Uh, uh, and and um, they they go running after you. Uh, um. I use my uh, Olympian uh, running abilities and I haul ass. I just <laughs> I just run away. I am speed. <laughs> More importantly, I am slightly speed and a lot of. Uh, like stamina. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay. Uh, he's he's uh, running from some soldiers. Uh, what are you doing? How long would it take us to gather some food and water to a basket or a pack? Um, doing mathematics on how long we think we'll be gone. It's and going. Back. It's going to take some, and some time. Food. I mean, you're definitely not like going to be here an hour, but it's going to take some time to like. All right. To gather up, like, three, like, at least three, like, generous packs worth of, like, sustenance supplies and stuff. Hmm. Uh, who would be faster at doing it? I assume uh, a, a Ventus would? He, he, I mean, it's going to be the same either way. Okay. Because I don't know if it would be better for both of us to be trying to pack it, or one of us to stand guard while the other one does it. Oh, it's up to you. I... Spend a chunk of time with him putting it would be together. It would be faster if you both did it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing that, but I'm going to at periodically have to stop and go check. And it's kind of half-heartedly checking because the intention is to get the packs done a lot mm. faster. But, yeah. Yeah, you can you can get the packs. You can get packs a little up. Okay. So, mm. is that all the supplies we think we need besides the horses? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you're taking, what you want to take. Okay. Hey, uh, editor and post-production Will here. Uh, the first three episodes of this session that we recorded, because we tend to record in blocks, had a slight and odd audio issue, where it recorded the first 19 minutes of audio twice, and didn't record the last 19 minutes of audio at all. So... At this point, since we've already been posting episodes, obviously we can't just scrap the whole campaign, so I'm here to give just sort of a brief overview of what little you miss in the last 19 minutes, just to help uh, explain the setup for the next episode. Overall, it's really pretty straightforward. The team just continues stealing horses. Uh, Tercius leads guards on a pretty long run around through the city um, because they can't physically catch him, while uh, Asim and their new friend Aventius, uh 
get the last of the supplies and horses before any everybody reconvenes, and they all ride off heroically into the moonlit desert. And that's pretty much it. Um, luckily, not all that much got cut out. I was actually kind of worried when I saw that 19 minutes of audio were missing that it was going to be something really important. Luckily, it's it's a fairly minor just sort of set up for the next episode. So we've got those audio uh, issues fixed for the future, so you shouldn't have to see me in a post-production and editor capacity again, and the rest of it uh, should all be just smooth sailing. Thank you.